Sterling, you're not going to believe what happened. I've been praying for my husband for this long, dude. I've been struggling with this sin. It just felt like I was in such bondage. I was so tired. And I kept fighting. Do you know what? God set me free. Dude, for real. Like, that's what I want to hear. I want to see that in my own life. Do you think... Dude, you think I'm some like little perfect guy walking around? Man, I want God to just set me free more and more and give me a passion to live for Him. So I'm going to pray over you, but later on, I want you to remember this. If you need prayer, when we're lined up here, I know what it's like, dude. I, I, sometimes I stand there when I'm in a church and I'm like, oh, I just don't want to get out of my seat. Like someone's going to be looking at me. Dude, it does not matter. Nobody gives a crap, if you mind me saying that. <laughs> no one really cares. God cares. And when you come up here and you pray with someone or you're listening to God's message and something speaks to your heart, man, write it down. That's what matters. Father, we love you so much. God, you have such a purpose and a plan for every life, for every soul that is represented here this morning. God, you see the bondage that sometimes holds us back from stepping into your will. God, you see the things in life that sometimes drag us down. But I pray in Jesus' name, God, let this year be yours. I pray, Father, whatever comes against us, we'll stand in your word, we'll stand in your truth, and we'll proclaim that, yes, you're my God. Wrap me in your arms. So this morning, God, I just pray you have your way in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You guys can be seated real quick. We are pumped to be here. I have a very um, awesome...